there is a line of cars that are coming in way down the road already. We've got a McLaren Elba XP2 right here. It's all electric, but it moves. This thing will kill most cars. R34 rolling out. <laughs> Walking through here right now, and something that wasn't here before showed up. going on guys we just made it over here to the motor enclave this is gonna be the second cars and coffee they're doing and I'm telling you this is the biggest cars and coffee in Tampa if you can't tell already there is a line of cars that are coming in way down the road already let me see if I can zoom in there yeah you can see this is just one gate wow my camera's blurring never mind you can't see yeah guys this event is huge a lot of cars always come out to this one we rolled up with all the Lexus boys this time a lot of cars guys this is just one part of it that's the main building back there there's gonna be some hyper cars and everything yeah i came over here with my father and his g82 m4 it's parked right over here there's gonna be some humidity on the cars just because it's always humid in florida but yeah i'm gonna wait till all the cars are parked and we'll probably do a actual walk around and everything um keep in mind though i'm not gonna be able to catch every car at this meet if you're watching this and you came to this event i'm sorry if i didn't catch your car it's real tough to get everything in this uh in this event there's just like over 2,000 cars so you know good luck actually getting it all yeah guys ton of cars everywhere i'm telling you it's gonna go all the way around the track they're parking them so far way down there i'm kind of just walking down the line a little bit but like i said i can't get everything it's gonna be tough to get every single car really nice cars out here though this is a really nice gc3 <laughs> it's clean. Nice, nice. And the Lotus right next to it. I've seen this car for years. This guy's been around for a while with this car. It's super low. <laughs> Alright. I was walking by. I didn't really notice it until now, but that's pretty crazy. Twin turbo setup. Oh wow, that's gonna take out my shin. Wow. This thing is crazy. <laughs> Tire setup. The parachute. Okay, this thing is fast. This is actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie. The interior and everything. The straw hat. <laughs> this is nice. Check these out right here. Got a nice Viper. The stock Viper too. That's worth some money. Very nice. Oh, I like the seats in this vet. What are those Brahm seats or something like that? They look good. It's a cool color on this Huracan right here. All right, so we got the GC3 RS. Is that lizard green? I don't know the I don't know the colors, but Huracan Technica, I think Technica. Is that the name? I don't know. SVJ though. Super nice SVJ. And for those that haven't seen this event before or my last video, this this is like normal traffic in this cars and coffee. There's crazier hyper cars inside. Like, it's crazy to say that an SVJ is almost like normal cars here, but no joke, like, the, the cars that are inside make some of these cars out here look like normal cars, no joke. <laughs> Guys, check this out. We got a Radical out here. These things are super low. I don't know how they got this into the grass right here. Because you kind of have to go up like a, I mean, I get it, over there, it like flattens out, but still, this is like uphill. These things are super low though. A nice GT4 RS right here. It's really nice. I love the red. Wow. All these 
cars look pretty crazy. Ooh, another Z06. <laughs> They're everywhere. Ventador. Wow. Yeah, like I said, guys, lots of humidity out here today. I don't know if it's humidity or what. It, like it's because it's like 50 degrees. So STO. All right. I love STOs. Ford GT. Old school Mercury. Yeah, the lineup just kind of keeps going. These are really nice. I'd love to go like between each car and look at everything going on with them, but it's like I said, there's just so much to film that it, it'd be hard to catch it all. This thing's pretty crazy though. The blue on blue. Oh, they like color matched that too. Might not look like it on camera, but it's pretty color matched. GC3. Another McLaren over here. 488. Dang, look at the Bentley. This interior is sick. 720S right here. Wow, this is pretty nice too. Sweet. Wow, look at this. This 720 is crazy. Oh, this is 675. Or 765. My bad. Oh yeah, you can see it on the seat right here. Now, oh wow, this is like all carbon? What? That's all carbon. I just realized this. So not only does it have like a, a paint fade going on with it, but there is actual, this is a full carbon body. That's insane. The interior match is really good too. Yeah, this is crazy. That's nice. So yeah guys, some of these are, I think track rental cars. They put these on the actual track. For those of you that don't know, this is actually a racetrack. They, uh, they pretty much have it to where you can rent out some of their cars and drive them on the track. If you've ever seen those events online and everything. And they also have buildings and everything that you can live in. A lot of these people rent those out and stuff. It's pretty much a car enthusiast track rental slash living quarters. They're pretty sick though. I'll show you some of the track later on, but super cool space though. All right guys, so we got donuts again like last time. There's only a few in these boxes, but they keep restocking them. They just have a table full of donuts over here. I already had one. You just, I didn't show you guys, but off camera, I, I was tearing it up. All right guys, so we're walking in the main building now. Last time I waited a little too long and it got really busy, so I wanna do it kinda early. Although it's already busy, everyone caught on. So this is where a lot of the crazier cars are. We've got a McLaren Elba XP2 right here. Yeah, this is crazy. I want to say this isn't street legal. <laughs> wow. I've never actually seen one of these in person. It looks weird. It's cool though. Our next two, we have a Chiron. It's a crazy spec too. My bad if I can't get all the good angles right now. There's just a bunch of people next to me, so. This red is really nice too. And in the middle, the good thing this one's on like a little turntable thing, so I don't even have to walk around it. It turns for me. You never really see Rimax in person. This, I think this is my first time seeing Rimax. It's all electric, but it moves. This thing will kill most cars. I'm pretty sure this is near 2,000 horsepower. But yeah, this is really nice. I like the blue on it. The old school Testarossa right here inside as well. This thing is in mint condition, so. I don't want to get in people's shots, so I'm going to back up a little bit, but. This is nice. Check out this center right here. 
It's like a mint green to match the mint green interior. This spec is crazy. Then I want to say a Super Trofeo race car. Really nice. And the 918 Spider right next to it. That's some crazy cars. Yeah, so last time this event was held, all the cars inside, I think it was most of these actually, but yeah, last time they held most cars inside. Seems like this time they put them all outside, which I kind of like because you get to see the cars true color and everything out here. Got another four GT. Some more Porsches right there. As you can see, this is the main gate entrance as well, right behind here. So you got a lot of the cars still rolling in. Very kind. And the R8 right next to it. 720S over here. Really nice R8. I love R8s. Especially in red. I think, for me, a red R8 is like the, the perfect car. It's so nice. Aston Martin. GT500. Really nice too. And I want to say GT2 RS. Yes, GT2 RS. All black too. With the yellow calibers. That's a nice spec. I like that. Got a more. This is like a track GT500. Is that what's going on here? This thing is crazy. Sparco seats inside. Oh my goodness. This thing is ready for the track. Wow. This thing is nice. It's crazy. Really nice Lotus right here. Lotus Samira, I think. I like the color. It's like a Nardo. And an Ultima GTR. This thing is crazy. R32 right here. R35. G87 M2 over here. I know a lot of people don't like the M2s. I, I love these. I don't know. Even like, especially when they're modified, I just think they look a lot better. But I never really had an issue with the M2. Funny enough, I, I didn't really like the G80s at first, but that grew on me. The M2 grew on me really quickly, though. Check out this Super right here. This setup is insane. Wow, the whole wheel setup is crazy. Yeah, the B-Block setup in the back right here. This is a nice Supra. Look at this thing. It's got a turbo right on top. I'm surprised that fits in there. Imagine getting gapped by this. <laughs> you got his buddy right next to it, too. Is that a 2J? What? What's going on here? What is, <laughs> what? Yeah, so correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a 2J, right? Like, am I tripping? Like, what, how did that even fit in here? I would never expect that, ever. That's insane. This is like an old school Volvo and they just threw in the 2J. I respect that. <laughs> this looks crazy. He <laughs> got the little hood scoop. And the van right here. Yeah, I don't care. These vans are actually cool. I like these uh, these Japanese vans. Look how tiny the wheels are. Let's see. Oh wow! I don't know how I almost missed that. So, one of my older videos, there was a GT40, and here it is. I haven't seen this one in a while. I think a lot of people aren't really seeing this one because it's tucked off to the side, but look at the setup here. 
Yeah, a bunch of people are missing this one. This is like way, like for anyone that doesn't know, this is like a part of the show that's tucked off to the corner. Most of the cars over here don't get too much love, but yeah, they're missing out on this one. This is really nice. Look at the color on this Mercedes right here. And the hood. The see-through and everything. This is a really nice one. Even the interior. I don't know if you can see it. He's got the yellow seat belts in there. White interior. This is sick. And it's got like the carbon work right there on the side of the hood. Yeah, this thing is nice. Super nice. Look at this, guys. This green is perfect, too. I love the green on this. This is insane. So I think it's a kit car, guys, from what everyone's saying. It's pretty sick, though. Okay, so LS3. All the cars have the screen. It's a really good car. Yeah. Proper. <laughs> Alright, so I'm currently in line waiting for some coffee now. Looks like they serve iced coffee and normal coffee, so I'm definitely going to get a new one. I need that. Hey okay, guys, so I just got my coffee over here. Pretty cool. They had an iced coffee too. I didn't know that. I definitely need it because I think I got home at 11 o'clock last night. I ate really quick and then went to sleep. I think it was around 1 o'clock almost. I finally fell asleep and then I had to be back up at 5 a.m. for this meet. So I'm definitely going to need this coffee right now. But yeah, we're back out here at the track right now. Like I said, won't be able to record every car here, but I'm going to try and get as many as I can. All right, so we got the gigantic Rolls Royce parked right next to the Lambos over here. I'm telling you, there's Lambos everywhere. This is pretty nice. Huracan Evo. Another Huracan over here. And the GT500. I know last time when I tried to record at this event, it definitely ended up being like a 35 minute video. So I'm trying to keep it under the 30 minute mark this time. That's the thing. Last time I had to speed up the video and everything to try and keep it up. This is a sick GTR, actually. This is nice. I like this. The wind goes good with it and everything. And a couple more GTRs right here. The red one looks stock. Probably not stock. If you know GTRs, you know. Another one right here, the carbon hood. Man, the only bad thing about this coffee is they gave one of those like cardboard straws. So now it's gonna fall apart in the drink. I understand the whole thing about not wanting to have too much waste and stuff, but I hate the straws, I hate them. Got the old school RX-7 over here. And the Toyota right next to it. Very nice. Pretty cool. My father actually had one of these when he was younger. So funny enough, I how I said that my father had this one, he told me he had this one too. So my father had both of these cars, the Toyota and the RX7. That's crazy. They're just parked right next to each other and he had both. <laughs> what? CC350 and a 500 right here. Crazy wrap on the Supra. Actually, both of these Supras. How are you guys feeling about the new S650 Mustang? The new front end and everything and the rear. I don't know, for me, I love the new front end. The rear's a little funny looking, but yeah, I'll show you the rear for anyone that hasn't seen it. I think it looks good though. If you're into Mustangs, I know a lot of you are probably into like the German cars and stuff like that. If you're into Mustangs though, I don't think this looks bad at all, especially in person. Ooh, we got the Evo. I don't know exactly which one it is. What is this, the Evo 4, Evo 3? One of the Evos, super clean. Guys, look at this paint. Like, my camera's not gonna pick this up, but that is insane. 
This is like the nicest red I've ever seen. Like actually, it's almost too perfect. <laughs> Yeah, this red is super nice. I've actually never seen a red like that perfect. It just pops like crazy. The car's clean too. Got an M4 CSL rolling in here. And this is some of the cars still rolling in right now. The Stinger? You got the intakes in there, huh? Stingers out. So you got an LC500. It's really nice. This color in the light, it's like a greenish color. I like it. A bunch of cars over here. Got some bikes rolling in. This is a sick M8 right here. <laughs> the Sentra? <laughs> This is like R33. The wheels actually go perfect with it. I like the TEs. I don't know. No. Dang. <laughs> Look how low this dude is. It's gotta be bagged, right? Right? I hope so. Same with this guy. Both of them. Alright, so we got a 34 over here with the carbon front end. And the 33 right next to it. Some old school Corollas over here too. And the Celica right there. These all look pretty wild. This one was actually one of my previous videos at J Motorsports, I believe. I think it's the exact same car though, but yeah, if you saw one of my recent videos, it's like my lowest viewed video. I think it was like 50 views. <laughs> but yeah, this car was in the thumbnail. They ended up swapping the front end. It's like a carbon front end. Cool shop though. Got a nice M4 right here. It's got carbon buckets in there too. With the, uh, I forgot the color, the color name of the carbon bucket, but I really like this color though. I don't know. I'd, I've really been liking like the highlighter colors on these cars. Nice little 720S here. Yeah, I'm running through here though. I'll just keep it going, I guess. F82. It's insane. There's so many people still rolling in. What is this? A demon? There's just a random demon pulling up there. This looks crazy. I can't even see. The sun is right in my eyes, but yeah, that's a demon. Alright, so we're walking back here, guys. So last time, this wasn't all filled up. I, I don't think so, at least. I don't remember it going this far back. So I'm assuming that's why it looks kind of dead in the actual meat going the other way. It's just because they ended up filling this area and it just leaves a lot of space in the actual track area, which is good. I think this is definitely what they needed to do for the amount of cars that come out here. I mean, it kind of sucks if you wanted to have your car shown because not too many people are walking this. I mean, there's, there's a good amount of people. So you're still getting your car seen. This is where that uh, CSL went. Nice little. Check out the Civic. It's actually really clean. There's definitely still a bunch of cars. I mean, this goes all the way around. I'm not sure if it loops back this way, but... That is insane. Another GC4 RS right here. I mean, there's just like random crazy cars hidden between all these cars too. Not to say none of these cars are crazy. A lot of these are nice. Like, this is a super clean Fox body right here. Stuff like this, like, you just walk through the entire track and you'll see them. Check out this Miata right here. This is, what is going on? <laughs> Alrighty then. The gigantic wing with it too. The wing is bigger than the car. Like, actually. <laughs> It's gotta be fun around the track though. Update on the straw situation. My straw is falling apart. I can't drink my drink anymore, so there goes that. I told you, I need my, my plastic straws. I'm sorry for the environment, but I can't do anything with this. CTSV. So guys, remember I said people, people actually live here, so you can see they have kit <laughs> out up front. It's crazy. 
Must be nice to be living there. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got a cyber truck here. Make sure you have the doors open too, so you can at least see inside. Wow. Yeah. Just so many sharp edges. Look at this guy right here. He has like the super camera. Look at this camera. That's. <laughs> I need that view. He's catching the entire car meet in one, one glance right there. Some clean JDM right here. I've seen a lot of R33s. That's 2002. No, the other ones. Another Z06 right here too. They're just hidden everywhere. F82. Color is popping. Yeah, so we're looping back around so far, guys. We went all the way around the track. This has been the longest walk ever. This is a dark horse, by the way. Nice. Another STO next to it. So yeah, like I said, we uh, we looped around the entire track. And there's still more cars that I missed. I tried to get a lot of them, but it's just, it's so hard to get everything, guys. Very, very hard. This is actually a really nice R8, too. Gen 1. Another 720 next to it. Amazon key truck. <laughs> so check this out, guys. We actually have a frozen G80 here. This is with a similar color to my uh, father's G82. This is just the actual like paint. And funny enough, it has the same color interior and everything. The uh, Fjord blue or Fjord, however you guys want to pronounce it. But yeah, funny though. Same exact kind of like spec going on with it just in G80 instead of it being a G82. Um, this car's actually from Pennsylvania though, so he's not from here, but it's cool to see another car with a similar spec going on. It's a nice GTR. Oh, okay. It's super clean. Got a bunch of cars though. So, so many. I, I want to say it's just like last time where there was like over a thousand easily. I wish they would have like an actual count. That'd be cool if they were like counting how many actually came in. Cause yeah, I'm curious to know, like this is definitely, it's definitely pushing a thousand easily. Uh, 2000, I don't know, probably not, <laughs> but still though. I would definitely say the biggest cars and coffee Why in Florida. One of the biggest in Florida. All right, they need a front lid. This is actually pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know if you can see right there, but there's a... Uh, he's got some crazy seats. I want to say Brahm seats. I can't tell from here. I don't want to get in people's shit, so I'm going to stay back. But that's crazy. Old school Z28 Camaro. This is that, like, DDE color wrap. I forgot the name of it, but... Super bright. It's like... I don't know, this color and seeing it in person, I don't know why it stands out so much, but it does. So here's that GC3 you guys saw earlier this morning when it was parking up. This spec is like actually really nice. I like the red and gold a lot. I'm telling you guys, this right here is just I, like, I don't think there's a more perfect car. I can't get over it. It's just too nice. I'm loving this. It was silver, so I had Really like this spec. Goes with the Porsche badge. R34 rolling out. Man, that thing is clean. Cops take over car meat. Not clickbait. No, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it, guys. Trust me. I want. I want to use it. I could easily use this as clickbait. I'm not going to. <laughs> I did it the other video. Look how many bikes there is though. I don't know when they got here, but they weren't here this morning. We're back at like that beginning part where they have all the cars inside and stuff. There's a ton of cop cars out here. Or police bikes. It's crazy. All right, guys. So I'm walking through here right now, and something that wasn't here before showed up. There's a gigantic crowd around it. Let's see if I can get through here. So there's a Regera that showed up here. 
<laughs> Try not to get in people's shot, but there's no way to get a clear shot of it without cutting in front of people, so I'm just gonna do it real quick. This is insane. The carbon wheels and everything. Oh, he put it. Don't close the valves, open them. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so we're heading back to the car now. I believe I got a good amount of cars for this video. Like I said, I didn't want to overdo it like last time. I think it was up to like 35 minutes. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. It's probably gonna be longer to watch. The dog. <laughs> but yeah guys, so I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it for the, the vlog here. Not too much else to film. It was another crazy show. I think, like I said, this is probably the biggest event in Florida right now. So many cars came out to this one. Here's the R34 again, by the way. But yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching and everything. Um, stay tuned for future videos and everything like that. And if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 200 subs here soon, so if you're new, I'm definitely going to have more car videos in the future. Definitely going to have more videos with the M4 and everything. I like to show all the, the future mods and everything. Um, you know, in the future, there is probably a tune coming for the M4 and stuff like that. So you'll be able to see some more performance content and everything like that. But yeah, guys, like I said, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all later. Peace.